Hi. You think you're getting a witch farm tutorial? Well, you're in luck. Because you are. Now, listen, stop. I know you're about to click off the video. Wait. Let me give you... Stop. Let me give you three reasons why not to. And then if I convince you to stay, you got to hit the subscribe button. Listen. Listen. Reason one. It's free. Don't, you know, don't be stingy. It's free. Listen, hang on. Reason two. My kids won't eat if you don't click the button. So if you hate kids, click away. I won't stop you. Listen, number three. Come closer. Come here. A little closer. A little. I can't get any closer. Reason three. You hate this puppy right here. And I'm going to kick him if you don't subscribe. All right. Are you good? You staying? All right. You sure? <laughs> Guys, welcome back to another video. I'm only kidding about kicking the puppy. I won't kick the puppy. All right. But today, guys, I want to build a super, super, super simple witch farm. But first, we have to defeat the witch boss. Wait. Wait. I want you, kitty cat. Oh. Ah. All right. Boss done. Wait, I want I kind of want these guys. Hello? Hi. Can you get off? All right. Guys, this this tutorial should be super super simple to make. All right. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to start with I'm just going to do a little walkthrough of this tutorial. You're going to go around the witch hut like this. Like just literally around. Super simple. Bap, 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 bap. Like this. You're going to make a ring around. This witch farm should take us 15 minutes to make. And this is me literally walking y'all step by step through it. So, let's see. So then, you can do the same thing, but two blocks up. So, one, two, and then on the third block, you're going to make another ring like this. This is literally, like I'm telling you, this is the easiest witch farm ever. But, it's super efficient. This is going to solve all of our issues regarding lighting you know redstone and then so now you're gonna go down two blocks like this and then build another ring like that and now you're gonna build another ring this is literally literally the easiest farm to build literally yeah like this guys uh thank you for sticking around uh with me for the long haul now you know, I'm gonna skip through this a little bit. I'm gonna demolish. All you have to do is demolish the inside witch hut. Let's get that going, right? Okay, now that we got that demolished, now we're just gonna use the blocks to fill in the inner layer. We're going to build all these platforms up like this. Okay, now you're going to come to the short side. So what I mean by that is if it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then this side is, you know, more than seven, you want to go to the side that's shorter than, or that is seven or shorter. You know what I'm saying? It makes sense, right? Now you're going to add a block right here. Boom, boom, boom. Ba boom, boom. Now... You're going to make a box around it like this. You're going to build up like this all the way up. Come down do the same for the other side. Wait, I goofed that up like this. There we go. Hey, Mr. Turtle. Go up like this. And then now you're going to make a box behind it. So basically what's going to happen is we're going to put water here and then it's going to go that way. So... We need to go all the way up with this wall. Okay, now we're going to take trap doors and place them like this along the back wall like this. Boom, boom, boom. And then open them all. And then you're going to do that on all the layers. So, basically you go up here, 
place the blocks like this. And then you do the same thing for all the layers. Same thing, go up one. And you should be good with just two layers like that. Okay. Okay. So now that you have all this right here, you're going to put some water behind the trap doors like this. So we basically have the gist of it done. Now we need to just fill in all the walls. Okay, now we're gonna add, we're gonna go to the very top and add our last layer. Like this, like this. Open them all up. Oh, that cat is not having a good day. Like this. So now, you're gonna come to the back here. I'm trying to even this out, sorry, OCD. And right on the same levels of trapdoors, you're gonna dig out the wall right behind it. So it should be every two blocks, like this. And then now you're gonna take your redstone. Bada boom, bada bing, and you're gonna place it in line with all the trapdoors. So this is what's gonna turn on and off your trapdoors right here. Like this. And we're actually very, very close to, to be done with this farm. That's how simple this farm is. You basically just build a big box with some water. And now we just gotta turn the redstone on and off. So basically, the only thing we have to do now is create a redstone clock up top. And it's gonna open the trapdoors, close them. Open the trapdoors or close them, and then we're gonna make a kill chamber. It's, it's literally that simple. Place it like that in line with the redstone. Like this. Bop. Bop. And then we got one more. Like this. And like this. Okay. Sweet. So, now that all these redstone lines are lit up, now all we're going to do is make a spiral staircase of redstone up to the top. Like this. And we're just going to keep connecting them all just like this. This is going to connect all the redstone torches to one central line. Route some redstone down like this. Hit every single block. So this is so much easier to build in creative. It's kind of insane. There we go. All the way down so you hit all the torches. And you should be good. Now we got to work on the clock up top. We got the redstone in, now we're going to place blocks on top of the trapdoors like this on each layer. Like this. And then while we do this we can go back and pick up our blocks. Like this. And last layer. Like this. Okay. Now we're going to make a really cool boat timer. So with this you're going to place three pressure plates here block and then three pressure plates like this and now we're going to circle it in so from here we'll go out like this and then touch the lower pressure plate like this out like this and like this and this is super this is a super cool clock so you put water there switch it out put water here and basically you just put a boat in here like this and it's going to trigger the redstone at a few, like, watch, just ready. And then when it gets here, it opens all the trap doors for a specific amount of time, which allows the witches to fall in the kill chamber. And then it shuts it. And it keeps doing that over and over again. So, super, super cool. Super easy. And I'm just going to put this here. Uh, because we're going to need to spawn proof this. Kill chamber is a little different, so you gotta pay attention, okay? So it's just, the first part is pretty simple. All you do is make a little, uh, what is this thing called? Like a, basically a 4 deep drop 
uh, trough, 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 yeah, trough, that's a word, so, we'll dig it, we'll make it four deep like this, don't matter how it looks, because it's going to kill him either, wait, like this, oh, I'm lagging because there's water in the rain, like this, Kitty cat, you gonna have to, yeah, you, you, everybody say rest in peace in the chat for this kitty cat, cause he ain't, there's no way he's making it, ain't no way, ain't no way, with the way he's been acting, I don't know, has to be a miracle if he makes it. Okay, so now you're going to make a four deep trough like this. You're going to find the center point, which should be four on each side. Place a fence gate like this, open it, and now you're going to need some water. So one here, one here. Oh yeah, you, you, you done goof, dog. And then this is going to be your little kill chamber right here. Boom, boom, beat down. Oh. oh! Rest in peace, kitty cat. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Okay, for the collector system, it's, it's a little complicated, so just pay attention, okay? So with this one, you're going to place a double chest here. You're going to place a hopper <clears throat> going into that double chest. Like that. You're going to place a rail, minecart hopper, and you're going to destroy the rail beneath it. Now, this is where it gets a little tricky. You're going to place a block here. You're going to place a piston above the block with a lever, and then you're going to slam that block into the into the hopper minecart. Okay, I know this is going to sound crazy, but you're going to put a rail here, and you're going to put 20... F Hang on. Yeah. All right, you're going to put a minecart here, and you're going to place 24 minecarts in in a stack right here 24 it has to be 24 focus up and now to finish it off oh the collector system works like that all right so now to finish it off we just need to block it up and then the collection system's done like this boom boom collection system is gucci now we can access the chest still and now we're done with the farm that's really it all right let me collect all my stuff like that i'll leave this down here for some lighting and we'll make a way out later all right last part super simple from this block right here you go 110 blocks up i would recommend using scaffolding but since i have an elijah wings i'm just going to make it out of solid blocks and then we'll make this an AFK platform. So while we go up here, we're going to finish the comments for the video. So it was a close, close battle, right? But I got the notification at the exact same time for Social Bunny and David Picky saying first. Unfortunately, Social Bunny, my boy David Picky has won. Good job, David. Let's go, David. David has conquered it. He's still the champ. I need y'all to dethrone him. I got to set alarms. Y'all got to get better Wi-Fi. I don't know what y'all got to do, but you got to hurry up. All right? And so somebody said, I don't think you'll get colorful sheep from breeding. Well, uh, you were right. And she said, you literally have 26 wheat on the top left. Watch your mouth. All right? I know. I knew I always I always miss one thing. All right? And then, so let's go ahead and build the platform. Oh, we can build out of these. I'm done with this. And then she said, I Googled it. And to make the mobs flip upside down, you got to name them Dinner Bone. Ooh. I did not know that. So Dinner Bone, we'll try that next episode when we name other people. Or we name other people. Like this. 
No. No. Ah, uh, you know what I'm gonna do for you guys? Bah! I'm gonna use dirt. Yep, I know. Hate me, love me, hate me if you want. Smite me, almighty smiter. Alright? But, we gonna use dirt. Oh, guess what? We gonna mix in a little bit of cobblestone too. Oh my god. And we'll leave this open right here. I don't think any phantoms are gonna come eat me alive from right here. Um, what a weird AFK platform. Oh my god. Um, and then Ewick said, uh, the baby sheep is probably the cutest thing I've ever seen. I'm also still waiting for you to build the zoo. Can't wait to see all the rare animals in one spot. I'm super stoked too. Like, that zoo is gonna be crazy, but I have to really think it out. And I have to really, like, do it good, right? Uh, Ghastly... Or gas forty seven ten. Welcome, dude. Love your profile pic. Said no, just a normal sheep. Sadly. Oh God. Ryan Bobber sixty nine. Oh God, we must fell off. New new commenter. Love the uh, love the profile pic, dude. Ali A. I'm tracking Pokemon. Come on now. He said uh, no. It's dinner bone for the name. Uh, tag upside down. Got you, dude. Thank you. Appreciate you uh, commenting. TTT pig said yes. I think he was guessing that uh, the pig would give us uh, a baby sheep. I think that's what it is. And then Smile said no. So Smile, you did it, dude. You have beat the pig. But yeah, uh, that was kind of depressing. Not knowing uh, or not getting a baby sheep out of that. It's kind of upsetting. But guys, thank you for watching, tuning in, subscribing, loving me, loving yourself. Truly loving yourself is kind of what I want to thank you for. Um, whoa, we're going to end this intimately, I guess. Sheesh. Guys, I love you so much. Hope you have a great day. I'll tell you the results at the beginning of next episode. I'm AFK here for 15 to 30 minutes. I love you. Stay strong. Stay happy. Stay smiling. I will link the tutorial because uh, I suck at tutorials in the description below. I love you. Peace.